Hello, this is Supersport. Yesterday I did a video showing how to use Kai's to reflash the firmware to your Galaxy S6 Edge. Um, today I'm going to redo a video because now they have Smart Switch out, which is a much smoother and easier way to do this process. Um, this is the replacement for Kai's, and it just works so much better. Okay, so let's uh, go through the software a little bit. I've got my phone plugged in and I started up Smart Switch. Um, as you can see here, I'm allowed to back up. Click on that. And I should not have started that, but anyways, I'm going to cancel it. I've already done a backup. Um, you can also restore. And once you've done a backup, you can change the data you want to restore. You can select the things you actually want. And then you click Restore Now, and it'll go through that process. You can also uh, sync Outlook, which I do it over the cloud, so I don't need that. Um, if you click here, you'll see your device info. And in this case, I need to remember to block out my phone number. Hopefully, I'll remember that when I process this. Um, but what I'm looking at today is actually how to restore the firmware on your phone. Let's say you've um, rooted your phone, and for some reason, it's not running right. Let's say you haven't done anything to your phone, but ever since you got it, it's running hot, it's laggy, a little bit jerky. Um, it's just not the way it should be. Your battery life is horrible. That's the situation I was in. Um, and so after restoring my firmware, my phone is now cool, fast, smooth. It's just, it's really nice to use now. I love the phone. So let's go ahead and click on more. Click on emer emergency software recovery and in initialization. Sorry, I'm having trouble talking this morning. Go ahead and click on that. And here we change over to software update and initialization. Say OK. And it's warning you here, it's going to delete your phone. So make sure you've done a backup previously. Or, of course, if your phone's not booting, then don't worry about that. I go ahead and say OK. It's telling me this is the version that's going to install. Which, by the way, if you got your phone new and you had to do, do the over the air update, this includes that all in one single flash. Which I don't know if that makes the difference on why it's smoother or not. But, anyways, let's go ahead and click OK. Um, it's reminding us again. If it's rooted, you might have issues. Um, mine was rooted and it went through just fine, so hopefully that's okay for you. Make sure you don't touch anything while you're doing it. Uh, well, I'm going to skip the backup because in this case I've already done it. And it's starting to prepare which software it wants to use. And here in a moment it's going to download the firmware. Go ahead and accept the user account control, the admin delegator. Okay, so now it's downloading the software. In this case, it will take about 20 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while this is happening, um, and then I will be right back. Now, one benefit you'll notice um, using Smart Switch over Kai's is, is that you don't have to worry about trying to find your serial number. Um, this evidently reads it right off the phone. Now, I don't know what maybe if your phone is messed up and it's not booting at all, you might need that. And in that case, what you'll do is you'll go into, um, you'll start into download mode by pressing power, volume down, and home button, and hold them until it starts into download mode. Once that screen comes up, um, go ahead and press the home button and that'll show you your serial number. Um, again, I don't know if it's going to ask for it, but if in case it does ask for it, that's how you're going to find your serial number. Then just press your home key again. It'll go back to the screen starting into download mode. You'll press the up volume button and that will throw you into download mode. I'd also like to throw out a thanks to Jamcar for the tip on how to get the serial number. And here we're still waiting for the download. Okay, the download is almost complete, so we'll go ahead and stick with it. I know in Kai's, when it got to about 85%, it paused, and then all of a sudden it jumped to 100 real quick. So we'll see if the same thing happens here. If this takes too long, I'll go ahead and cut some of the, uh, the downtime out. Okay, the download is now finished. 
and my phone is automatically rebooting. So using Smart Switch, I don't have to go in and set it into download mode. It's actually done that for me. Um, back on Kai's, I had to manually place it into download mode. At least on the S6 Edge, I know on some of the previous phones that were directly supported, it would throw it into download mode for you, which is what we've got here. So right now, um, my phone is in download mode. And here in a moment, I should get a progress bar across the screen of the phone, and this progress bar on the screen of the computer should start moving also. Okay, and there we go. Two percent on my screen, three percent, and on my phone, I got the little white bar going across. So I'll go ahead and uh, pause again, and we'll come back as soon as this is about complete. Okay, we're just about done here. 100%. My phone just restarted. Say OK. Now it asked me to disconnect and reconnect the cable, so I'll go ahead and do. Now on my phone, it's uh, initialized the system update. It's now racing. Got the little Android dude. Okay, he disappeared, and now I'm rebooting. So I'll go ahead and plug my cable back in. Because at this point, I do want to restore my data since I erased it just now. There you can hear my phone booting. Got my T-Mobile logo. And again, the phone runs so much better after doing this. Um, if you've got your phone brand new out of the box, for me anyways, it was hot, laggy, just not fun to use. And after doing this flash um, two days ago, it's been cool, fast, smooth, it, it just a joy to use. And it, this phone should be just incredible to use, and it wasn't, but it is now. So I highly recommend you do this if you're having any issues like that. Okay, I'm reconnected, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my restore. Click on restore. I'm going to change the date. I do not want to um, update the contacts. Uh, let's see. I don't want my calendar. Where am I? Da -da -da -da. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, well I didn't want my calendar to be updated. Uh, we'll see, because I use um, Exchange, so all my data comes in over the cloud and I don't want duplicates. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and run it like this. If it's wrong, I'll do it again. And restore now, and that's it. It's throwing everything back on. I'm getting all my messages, my MMS messages with pictures. Everything's coming back. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and log off now and let you guys try this yourselves. Good luck, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.